Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to configure statistics collection for secure messaging gateway scan policies. We'll start by looking at controlling stats collection for a policy, and then how and what we can gather stats for within each policy. And finally, I'll provide a couple of tips to get you started on gathering useful insights from the stats that are collected. To configure stats collection, we'll be using the main SMG admin console. I'm going to log in as admin and select the system administration interface. So firstly, looking at the main policy management page and at our inbound mail filter, we have this option labeled stats collection. The default setting for this option is to collect all statistics. You can also choose to collect counts only, which will not include metadata such as email addresses, virus names and other data points that record information about messages. And you can also disable statistics collection. Take a note of the tooltip. Disabling stats collection here can be overridden within the workbench which we'll be having a look at later. Now this setting is defined for each policy, so if you don't want the default behavior, be sure to configure each of your policies to match your needs. Next, let's look at the settings page. On this page, you can specify how long statistics are retained for. Adjust this to suit your environment. If you're going to keep long-term statistics, please keep an eye on your system storage to make sure you don't run out of space, at least until you've collected statistics up to the retention time, at which point the required storage space should settle to a fairly consistent level. If you have a multi-tenant configuration, the retention time is set independently for each organization. So that's it for the global options. Now let's take a look at the scanner configuration itself. By default, all statistics are collected for all nodes per the policy configuration. Then within each of the nodes, they all have this pop-out panel that lets you configure node-specific properties. In here, you'll find the option for statistics collection. The default setting for each node will be to use the setting defined for the policy. You can override the policy settings by selecting the stats collection mode. This is helpful if you either want to stop collecting data for nodes that you aren't interested in, or enabling just the nodes you want to collect stats for by disabling collection globally for the policy, and then re-enabling the nodes you want to track. All types of nodes gather statistics, so you'll find this option for the filters, services, and exceptions. For systems that were installed prior to the availability of the monitoring interface, the service node for statistics recording is probably set up on your workbench. Data from this node feeds into the overview page and creates a separate set of data. We recommend removing the stats node from your system once you've got the monitoring system collecting data, as it's both redundant and the limits of the data collected are not as useful. You'll also notice in the overview screen that there's a tip to prompt you to migrate over to the monitoring interface. Finally, I'll demonstrate a couple of quick ways you can use the workbench to generate more than just basic statistical counts. And hopefully this will give you some good startup reference material to start extracting interesting information from your own system. So looking at our inbound mail filter policy, we know that we will get the counts of all of the nodes we're looking at here. We might, however, want to chart the number of messages that were blocked specifically because of viruses, independently of any other reason the message might have been blocked. To do this, we can create a new block service node attached to the AV filter.
and give it a name to identify it in the monitoring interface. Now we'll be able to create a comparison graph to contrast all blocked messages against messages blocked because they contained a virus. Another interesting combination you could create would be charting the combinations of filters occurring. For example, you might want to see how many messages are caught by the serval and RBL filters and compare that with how many messages trigger both of these filters. To create this setup, chain the filters and set up a block node to record stats at the end of the chain. I'm going to take my RBL filter, chain that to my serval filter, tell the RBL filter to run its children if it activates, and then I'm going to create a new block node and give it the title RBL plus serval. This node will now gather statistics and be available for my monitoring charts. Note that when I added these two filter nodes, I selected the existing filters from the components. With the setup, the RBL and serval lookups only need to be run once. That's it for this tutorial. I hope it's been of assistance. Thanks for watching and bye for now.